welcome back to my channel and if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so you get a notification every time i upload um so today is july 9th it's pushing to 12 o'clock in the afternoon um i told you guys that i'll keep you updated on what's like as far as the summer program to try to get into the LPM program and things such as that. So what I'm going to do is record for this week and give you an update overall. I'm going to put this video together, give you an update at the end of this week as far as how it's going. Um, but today was the first day. It was pretty cool. Um, what I don't like is the know-it-alls, okay? If you don't, like, it's not people who, you know, studied up on it and stuff before we started. Not those know-it-alls. It's the know-it-alls that was already in the program in March and failed out of it. And now they have to take the summer course all over with people, new people who's coming in in September to try to get into the program again. So, yeah, they don't just get to be put in a program free willingly after they fail. They have to take the summer course with us and everything and try to get back in but chances are very high um the attendance list today honey was long okay like every for every person that she um called and they didn't say they was here i was just like yes that's my chances to get closer to the program but i can at least say that she called probably 50 names that were there and then she also has a class at one between one and three that has about that amount too. So it's gonna be hard to get into this program. But when I was reading up into the program, like when we first started applying and stuff, I was told that as long as you get 80% or higher in the course, um, that your chance that well, you probably get into the program, but. What I found out today was the first people they automatically look at is who gets an 85% or higher in the program. Then from those people who get 85%, um, they look at if you turned in like your shot records and stuff on time, because it's really not due until August something. But I mean, I turned mine in in May, so that's why I don't know. But they look at who turned that in on time, and then the next thing they look at is attendance and tardiness. And they go based off that, and if they still have slots left, because they only accept 50 people. So if they have slots left, left over from that, that's when they'll look at the people from 85% down to 80%. They'll look at those people and accept those people based off of how many slots they have left. So, very competitive. Um... So yeah, and today we just basically went over the syllabus and of course, and um, after that we started working on the math portion. Um, I don't know why I have this white scratch or something on my lip, but we went over the syllabus and then we started doing decimals like placement to decimals and multiplying, dividing, adding, subtracting decimals. And then we did a little bit of medical terminology too. Um, and then towards the end, we went to the computer lab to sign on to our online thing for homework or something. And then we left for the day. But overall, so far, it's good. Um, she did make us aware that after today, every day that we have to meet up, which we only meet up on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, every day after today, we will have a test. So that was like... But, but I mean it's not like I didn't expect it I mean it's a hard program like like I stated before like other programs you have to take an entry test with his with this one it's a course medical terminology and math the way the reason why they do that is because they set the course up like how classes will operate their actual classes operate so that was um pretty cool but you know just to hear her say you know people with 85 percent or higher is the first people they automatically look at it's like i definitely got to get in that percentage range because if i get there i know i'll get in because all my paperwork and everything is turned in 
and my attendance will definitely be on point period sis but that's pretty much it for today um i'm probably gonna go in here look at because we got a quiz uh thursday on decimals and stuff the math stuff we went over today um probably gonna go look over that again because i'm really not a math person okay like basic math okay but fractions i hate decimals is cool unless you're dividing them which and multiplying is cool now i sometimes i be needing a refresher and then i understand but yeah so i'm look at that and then i'm going to in the back of our books that we got for the course um it was flashcards on the back so we want to take those out and start the study because next tuesday is our first um medical terminology quiz so i'm gonna plug those backs out for the flashcards and get to study in those too but um i can only say i'm not really a good um note taker so if you guys can comment down below what's the best way to take notes and things such as that that would be very helpful and um yeah this will be all for today's little vloggy vlog so i'll see you guys again one thursday maybe i'll even um insert a clip of me walking into the school and yeah but we'll see bye hey y'all good morning um it is currently july 11th the time is 7.07 .07 a.m. Um, I just got in the car. I'm about to do this 34, yeah, 34 minute drive to the school to do the second class for the week. I don't know if y'all have previously told you guys, but the summer course to try to get into the LPN program is a 20 hour course. And it's you meet up two days a week for four weeks. Um, so basically... August 1st will be the last day for this program. So I'm going to let you guys come along with me for this drive. And then I'll show you guys um, the walk into the school as well. And maybe the classroom when I walk in. So bye. Okay, y'all. So it is currently 742. I have arrived in the parking lot by the school. It's like right over there. Um, so let me get to going because today is day two and we already got a quiz. Okay. So I have to be in there on time because with this school, if you, if she lay that first test down before you get in the classroom, you automatically like have to reschedule with her. But you got to pay $25 to redo the makeup test and it has to be on the day that in it, the instructor picks the day and time the instructor picks so let me get the walking in here um it's, on, it's only on the second floor but i have to get across the street and everything so Took that quiz, I already knew, but 
I just don't understand how people who already been through this medical terminology course to try to get into the program, like, how are you coming late? And you already know it. The policy is $25 if you, like, miss the test. I can understand that for somebody who's new who was late the first day. But also, I don't understand because it was in your packet. But, um, yeah, like, it was a girl. She was late the first day by 30 minutes. And she was late today, probably by 15 or so. I'm not really sure. All I know is when I had came out from taking, because we were separated in classrooms, because it's about 31 of us in, our, in my class. But we were separated. So when I came out the classroom that I took my test in, she was standing there asking the girl how the test was, what was on it, and stuff like that. But obviously she was late again, because I took, it took me probably 15 minutes to take the test, if that. I was just procrastinating, because I was done so early, and I'm like, uh nobody else is moving like i am so let me sit here and look at the clock for a little bit etc etc but finally i'm just like forget it i'm done so i'm not about to sit here in this quiet class but um we're definitely not allowed to have our phones and smart watches so they kind of like set up our test and stuff like how it would be when we take the netflix test so yeah and i got a test on tuesday but she told us the first day, you know, we're going to have a test starting every day after Thursday. So I got a test on Tuesday when we go back. Because we only do it Tuesdays and Thursdays. And it's over chapter 1 through 5. And this isn't the math portion. It's for the medical terminology portion. So I got that to do. Study for that. But I'm pretty confident that I aced the um, math one. So... Yeah, this is going to be it for this week. Um, I don't know if I'll do another one for next week. I may, you know, do a little series on how it's going for every week for the four weeks. Just to have some type of content on my channel. So, yeah, you know, because you got to constantly upload. So, I'm just going to upload this, which I work tonight. So I'm probably going to upload this first. Or I might do it right after I'm done recording it. Like once I get to the house, upload, get to uploading this. So that way I can study for the test next week. So yeah, I'll see you guys next week.